Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another match day vlog. Boxing Day football at Rodney Parade. It's always good having a Boxing Day fixture at home. No one wants to be travelling up and down the country on Boxing Day. Um, but besides all that, today is a massive game against Wrexham. Uh, Wrexham? Forest Green. I know it's not a rivalry as such, but you know the two teams are quite close. It's one of the closest games for us in the league, so you know, vice versa for them. Um, Wrexham 23rd in the league. Uh, 16th I believe 16th um, but no you know we've got to win today because they're 23rd they're an awful team Troy Deeney is the manager you know it's it's pretty much a must win game because you know we've got to be winning games at Rodney Parade especially teams that you know like in the relegation zone they're only two points above Sutton they are an awful side and you know with all due respect to Troy Deeney I think you know his management capabilities are going to let Forest Green down unless they sack him of course I think they could be getting relegated. In terms of a score prediction, I don't know why, but probably going to go for something absolutely outrageous and go 3-0. I don't even know why. Goal scorers, Bogle. I'm going to say it again. Bennett and Seb Palmer holding off the bench. If you enjoy the vlog, like, share and subscribe. And um, yeah, let's get into Rodney Parade. Meet up with Luke, get his predictions, get the lineups, and then see you in the ground. Come on the port. So then, Luke, Boxing Day. Love it. Stuffed after Christmas. Mate, return, fat. return to football. Forest Green. Opinions. Mate, having football on Boxing Day is just what Boxing Day is all about, isn't it? Yeah. It's always better to have a home game. Again, it says you travel up and down the fucking UK. I feel sorry for those who kind of got to travel like Carlisle today, or if they're travelling. Yeah. But I'm just hoping for a good result today. But I just can't see it, you know. Is this must win? I know, like. You, you've got to beat the teams in and around you, but these are 23rd. The, you know, we're 10 points above them, I think. Um, you know, they're only two points above bottom of the league. Is this a must-win game? It's a game that we shouldn't lose. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say must-win on it, but it's a game that you wouldn't expect us to lose on paper. But obviously, this is county, and we can always beat the teams that are higher above us. You know, we, the last home game against Grimsby... We were all over them, scored, and then just fell apart, ended up drawing the game. Yeah. Score but prediction? It could go one or two ways. We could either batter them, or they can just turn up and just score a shit house goal and beat us. What's your score prediction? I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Goal scorers? I'm going to say James Clark from a corner. For Forest Green? Nathan Holland. Nathan Holland, up the county. Up the county. Up for the game, now what are we saying? At Townsend, Payne, Delaney... Clark, Bacon, Gotlin, Morris, Charlie, Bennett, Bogle, Evan. No Bench, Palmer Holden. Max, Dead, Lewis, Waite, Roy, Wood, Palmer Holden, Bonswell. I'm not too sure to think of that. Said Palmer Holden out, said, uh, Lewis Payne in. What's your thoughts on Seb on the bench? I don't think it makes sense, you know. You've got Bogle, who he's good to, you know, win headers and stuff, but he doesn't have the same attacking, running threat that... Palmer Holden as he's young and he's hungry you come here to play and not be on the bench yeah I'm, I don't like the pain, uh, pain starting and well I don't mind pain but Palmer Holden on the bench is an interesting one hopefully he'll come off the bench and make an impact well, I, I just want to say as well in a game like this you want Palmer Holden starting because they've literally got a shit defence they've I think I read earlier they've they've let in like 46 goals this season the last thing you want is a young hungry striker who wants to press you. on home running at you it's a decent, hopefully Seb gets some minutes, hopefully Bogle finally gets, you know, another goal. I know he's got to get the Scrimsby, but heading into Rodney Parade now. Come on the port, up the county. Up on Rodney Parade, pull on the port. There we go, you keep it with you. You keep it with you. That was caught into the front row. Fucking awful. Fucking awful. Within two minutes. Newport Hill, Forest Green 1. One minute, four Don't even know who scored it. It's all awful. Yeah. Fucking hell, this defending is so shit. Oh, I was 
does he not say that? It's straight at him. It's literally straight at him. Forest Green 2. Jesus! Defendant's called. No, Jesus! It's literally straight at him! Pass it to the right of him. I don't even know who's going to go. No, Jesus! Newport nil, Forest Green 2. Let's head back. The manager is getting hard to build back at the moment. 2 0, Forest Green. Boxing Day calamity. Get it in! I know a lot about the Time of Rodney Parade, Newport nil, Forest Green 2, own goal, I don't even know who scored the second goal. Booze ring around Rodney Parade. A towards the manager, B towards the players, C towards the officials. I worry, I worry for this second half, I really worry what's going to happen. I'm not too sure about the manager at the moment, but half time, 2 0 down. We, we need a goal in the start of this second half. Full time prediction, I'm going to go. 2-1 Forest Green I just think we don't have enough in us to get back into this game the mentality's dropped the belief in the players have got, dropped the confidence in themselves have dropped and Cochrane slowly losing the sort of now to get us back into games it's going to be a big second half it's going to be a really big second half hopefully we get a goal before the you know 60th minute to really spring a bit of life back into it but half time 2-0 Forest Green long 45 ahead game full-time Newport 4 Forest Green Rovers 2 an incredible game of football you know they go down or we go down to 2-0 you know at half time there's boos there's jeers from the Newport fans you know aimed at the players aimed at Cochrane. I, I didn't want to boo at half time because I just think it does no good 
boo into your team at half time, especially when you've got 45 minutes to, you know, play in the second half and to try and get back into the game. They get sending off, you know, it opens the game up completely. We score after 16 minutes, you know, 15 minutes into the second half, getting a goal is massive. We then uh, double the lead or, you know, get double our advantage or double our, I can't even speak, double our tally for uh, the game, make it 2-2, Will Evans. And then, you know, we score again six minutes later. And I don't know the time of the Delaney goal, but it's, it's a massive, massive win. And there was a lot of speculation about Graham Cochran going into it. You know, a lot of people don't want him in charge. A lot of people said that if we lose today against 23rd in the league, that, you know, he has to go. I think we've got to stick with Graham Cochran. I've been very vocal about that. I think there's bigger issues at the football club than the manager. I think we're all sort of worried about the takeover. I'm not sure if that's going to happen soon and, and stuff like that. So sacking the manager is not going to do anyone any good whatsoever. But like I said, 4-2 win. First game, you know, wearing the new shirt. Love it. You know, it was a it was a good good result. Good result. Especially at 2-0, you're thinking, you know, this this could go really bad. You're hearing boos, you're hearing people moaning. We get back into the game, 2-1, 2-2, 3-2. -2. And at 3-2, you're thinking, right, just hold on. And we get that fourth and the place just goes absolutely berserk. But like I said, if you have enjoyed this match day vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Big game on Friday against Crawley. Uh, not against Crawley, against Crew. sorry, the return of Mickey Demetrio and Baker Richardson at Rodney Parade, that'll be interesting, but yeah, like, share and subscribe, I'll see you in the next one, what a win on Boxing Day, come on!